Yo, what's going down, guys? It's your boy, Trumsman, and we are back with some My Team on 2K15. Let's keep opening some packs. Packs are so addicting, and I'm so curious about them right now. Looking through the trade market in the first video, there's so many more card tiers, and I want to try to pull one, see, especially I want to see if 2K is kind of dimming their cards down at the beginning and working their way throughout the year, or if they're just throwing in the 99 overall players right off the start, like they did in 2K14 which I really hope they don't. But first of all, we have to get a good player to figure that one out. And all we've been pulling is bronze and silver so far in these gold packs. All right, who are we going to get? LaMarcus Aldridge, gold card. Finally pulling someone new. Let's flip this bad boy over. You can do that. Ooh, salary. So it looks like salary is in 2K15. And he's only an 84 overall gold addition. So it kind of seems low for a LaMarcus Aldridge, who's probably, if not the, one of the top two or three best power forwards in the NBA. But first off, let's go to collections. I was looking through these last night, and finally we pulled someone that we could actually use in a collection. So let's put uh, Portland Trailblazers' greatest moments in uh, Damian Lillard and LaMarcus Aldridge gold card. And then two Portland uh, Trailblazers gold card collectibles receive an 88 LaMarcus Aldridge greatest moment card. And as you can see, it says collect right there. And then we'll go over to the Lillard collectible. It says needed. So you don't have to go through your reserves or your uh, collection. It just shows if you have it or not right on the face of the, uh, the card in the collection. You don't need to go searching or anything like that. You just have it or you don't. And looking at these cards, man, I think the greatest moment Aldridge may be the one from the playoffs where he dropped like 50 points and got 20 rebounds. Because if you look at both the collectibles, they're both against the Houston Rockets. So we kind of, I do want to be on the lookout for those. Maybe go on the trade market, see how much the collectibles are. If anyone even has them yet. So now we're in the game mode. And I know a lot of you guys were saying 10k BC is a lot. And I was doing some investigating on my own. And look at these rewards, man, for road to playoffs, which is what is in 2k14 now. Uh, 9 through 7, you get 5k for winning. So you get BC now rather than packs, especially off the start. And then you get 10k, then you get 20 thousand plus a reward pack and 25,000 plus a reward pack and if you saw it says you earn more VC for every game you get in higher seed so the more you play the more VC you get so 2k is rewarding us and then start your NBA season man uh, battle through nine months of an NBA season if see if you have what it takes to win an NBA title and player salary is in effect in this game mode so this is a new game mode I'm kind of curious about the salary to see how much you have because our gold Aldridge uh, I think he was at right around 4,200 so the, uh, I don't know how much salary you have we'll have to start playing some games but it looks like they are pacing themselves throughout the year man because Aldridge an 84 overall gold card seems pretty low to me we'll keep having to open packs but it does look like they're pacing themselves which is awesome but guys drop your comments down below on 2k15 what do you want to see what do you think of my ideas drop a like for sure subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys next time